Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Let's Play Spyro 2 or Treasure Age. In the last episode, we am, uh, got through, um, uh, part of Summer Forest and, um, uh, completed, um, uh, Idle Springs, including getting the skill point for that now. Before we head off to the next level, I'm actually gonna go down here since now that we can swim, we can get more of these gems down here. Oop, careful. Not gonna lie, it's kinda hard to see down here. I haven't mentioned this yet, but if it wasn't obvious, you cannot breathe underwater. <laughs> uh, uh. Climb up here and uh An orb. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do, really. I'm not gonna do anything under here. I'm off. Uh, we're gonna go right out into Colossus. <laughs> okay, 87. So we should have uh, 787 by the end of this. They kind of changed that from the original, huh? Like the chant was first, and Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. To get the talisman for this level, you just have to make it safely to the exit. You know a good fourth wall break, but as I was saying. The chant was first, then the two guys got scared. <laughs> I saw that, by the way. I saw that. Um, <laughs> okay, we have these goats uh, <laughs> using your head. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Is it just me or is this guy I'm uh is, or is this guy bald? <laughs> also I miss the old chants. I know they they did some they wanted to do something original, but I still miss the old chants. The doors open. Leave me alone. I'm trying to meditate. I'll scare you then. <laughs> Alright, we have a yak over here. So, uh, if you did... You may be noticing that these guys on the um, uh, foremans in the um, uh, Isle Springs look very similar. I'll explain why they do um, uh, after we talk to this guy over here. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Okay, this guy. Oh, he does actually. How am I supposed to achieve enlightenment if you keep pestering me? Oh, come on now. <laughs> All right, here's Zoe. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We already mentioned that. <laughs> well, I did anyways. I like Idle Springs better, but Colossus is also a really nice level. 
Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that. I already mentioned that. Um, we need 11 for this one. Uh, also, the fodder for this level are those these tiny penguins. So, in the beta of Spyro, I'm, uh, uh, the levels were actually paired, so, in this case, uh, Colossus and Idle Springs were paired with each other, with, uh, Colossus being originally named Colossus Steps, I'm pretty sure, and then Idle Springs was Colossus Springs, like, a future level references the beta name in the original game, but they changed it in this version. Hey, look what I can do. Oh. Alright, I looked at what you did. <laughs> How can you be sure I really exist? Good question, actually. <laughs> do you actually exist, Mr. Curtis? This level is also not that long, so it has some, uh, one more orb though, for one reason only that we'll see later. Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump. Okay, I'll allow that one, I guess. I guess to remind people of, um, uh, that gliding is better when you, um, uh, do it at the top. And okay, that's the exit. I'm uh, we have an iron chest here. I'm uh, we'll have to find a I'm uh, missile somewhere. Also, I I love the statues in this in the remake. Like they did a nice job with it, <laughs> even giving them a hockey stick and everything. What that has to, what this little has to do with hockey, we will see later. Alrighty, here's your power up. It's a spring, you just go up higher. Uh, I'm gonna actually get the talisman first, uh, so, because that's actually gonna unlock um, uh, an easier way to get back. <laughs> Though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. So, fun fact here: uh, Brother Ned's dialogue actually changes. I'm uh, it. Okay, it's kind of weird. Um. So in the original, <laughs> the text box still says torch, but he actually says kill instead of torch. But anyways, we have a mini boss here with this uh, Yeti right here. And by mini boss, I mean just a cutscene. <laughs> I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Alrighty. So yeah, that's Colossus. Uh, again, not a big level. Um, majority of the level is actually a. Uh, actually, we haven't even seen all of it yet. Um, and I'm not talking about just the rooftops alone. I'm. Uh, there's actually quite more to this level. Like these gems. Okay, I'm gonna drop down first so I can get these chests here. 
Uh, ready? Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Not sure why I'm looking at my OBS, even though it should, it's better now since it, there's no delay on like my original capture cards. Like that's the beauty of this, some uh, the HD60 that I have. HD60 has to be specific. Um, is that there's no delay and you can like it's literally just plug and play as some capture card did, um, uh, advertise it as um because my other capture cards aka the original HD and um uh, Roxio does not have them uh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away but now it will hide in the statues if you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. All right, that's our mission three-star difficulty. But as I was saying, Ama, if you want to get rid of that evil, if you want to get rid of Ama, um, uh, unlike Ama, uh, this one, those capture cards had delay, and then another one that doesn't have delay that I haven't tested it out on this computer, nor do I plan on doing that anytime soon unless I'm, uh, this one for some reason breaks and I need to order a new one anyway. Statues! I like how they replaced the hockey sticks with daggers or swords, whatever it is, I don't know. Probably swords since this is Spyro after all. Medieval times. There's none over there, so don't even bother going over there. There's one right here, okay. I believe I already got that one up there. Uh, yes, I did, okay. Uh, where's the cave again? Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> also, a whirlwind almost shows up now. That you went through that section. Statue right there. I believe there is some uh, one up here that I missed some uh, because I immediately went down to the other side of. Yep, right here. Okay. Uh, eight. Somewhere in this cave, I'm uh, that we'll see is gonna make nine. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, down here is gonna be a ten. Done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Okay, if they don't need it, then yeah. All right, that's our orb. Um... I'm glad that evil spirit is gone. It was giving me the heebie-jeebies. I'm glad. Of course, that's not gonna be the end we see from the professor since he's a Emma main reoccurring character. We'll see plenty of him later on. For good or bad, he has... He has some uh, decent missions, like this one was decent. But he does have a few bad ones. Alright, we have this section over here. Also, I swear I just heard a dive alarm somewhere. But I'm not even gonna bother questioning that. <laughs> Probably hearing things. All right, that's everything. And look at here, we have a hockey arena. <laughs> Let's go. We're playing hockey. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Maybe oh, it's too cold. <laughs> for a while would provide you with the will to try. But I don't know if you saw, but you actually saw him, uh, ready to try your two um, uh, 
orbs. He has two orb challenges, so we're gonna play three point hockey twice. To score five goals in the red goal. All right, red is our goal. This is a two star difficulty. Oh my god, be quiet. All right, we have two minutes. Hold on, I'm gonna restart the timer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Are you Rick? You Alrighty, attempt number two. Come on. Oh, for frick's sake. The ice physics are somewhat more smooth than I'm a... the original. So the camera can be a bit interesting. Uh, this is my preferred camera angle right here. Legit, your best bet is to go f to the corner and I'm gonna uh, shoot from there. <laughs> Since he's always locked into where you're a where you're positioned. I do wish charging, pressing the charge button can make you go skate a little faster, to be honest, because this is kind of slow <laughs> for my liking. Uh. Okay, 46 seconds we have this. Yep. Well done. Have this. Man, this is it for Colossus. We just gotta do these and we're done with the level. Would you like to try a game of one on one? Come back if you change your mind. As blah, blah, blah. and if we have enough time, I'll do the rest of the home world. Ah, have you come to play some one on? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. Okay, three star difficulty. We have an opponent now. This giant bear, I believe, is what he is. I think he was a bear in the original anyways. So I should mention this, by the way. We have a skill point here. We have to go perfect in hockey. So we have to shut out our opponent. That's basically... It says, oh my god, that is atrocious. <laughs> okay, there we go. Either corner will do, it doesn't matter. Okay, then. Yeah, you can flame him if he's a uh, Anywhere near the pock, um. And he can attack you as well. Not illegal in hockey, you can do this, I'm pretty sure, in real life. Obviously not fire him, uh, you'll probably talk about him, uh, knocking your opponent down. As long as it's... <laughs> as long as you're not trying to kill one, of course. I don't know, I don't know much about hockey, I just know it's... <laughs> very rough. <laughs> Get out of here. 
Oh my god, this is... <laughs> Kinda sad. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, for Fritz's sake. No, 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 no. Get away. Oh! <laughs> Own goal, nice. Because I did not flame that into his goal. Like, he just let it go. In by himself. And, okay, uh... Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm kind of concentrating here. Not only that, it, there's not much, it's just hockey. <laughs> you skate and throw the puck in. Alright, we're done. Well done. <laughs> Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> but with that, we have all orbs, and with that, Colossus is 100% complete. You can keep practicing if you want, but you have to be off the ice by six. Okay, then. Um... Yeah, here we go. You can practice if you want to um, uh, get that skill point. Uh, but no, with that, we're done with Colossus. We're gonna exit through the portal because that's what we like. That's what I like to do. Um, and we reached um, a good stopping point for the video. Um, so that's gonna do it for this episode. I will see you guys. Uh, next time for when we get back to more of my Spyro Territory's Rage Reignited. Um, uh, we're going to head off to the next level. Um, Hurricos. Um. I love that they <laughs> added more detail into some of these cutscenes. <laughs> like, of course, I'm pro gameplay, but the small details they added <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> but, again, that's gonna do it. I will see you guys next time for when we take on Hurricos. Later. By Who needs a key? Hey, look what I can do!